All right, namaste beautiful yogis. I um, see a couple of people are already on. Um, today we have a really cool video. We'll see how far we'll get in. I prepared a little bit for it. It's, I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time, the benefits of interval yoga. And someone, one of um, our yogis sent me her diploma work, which included a lot of, uh, a quite a bit of information really uh, her work is amazing on interval yoga um, yoga in general and in general weight loss through Eastern um, disciplines um, uh, uh, for example Ayurveda uh, Pranayama Kabbalabhati breath Udhyana Bandha and how you can utilize all those things in order to gain benefits from e interval yoga from yoga, from Eastern um, practices, and I'm gonna get as far as I can today, and then we'll do a part two on what yoga is good for. Now, I wanna explain to you what interval yoga is. I have, I um, practiced, let's get this out of the way. I, um, I, I started practicing yoga in the early 2000s, and after I moved to America. And I started practicing different disciplines, vinyasa, um, ashtanga, and just hatha yoga, and fell in love with yoga from the get-go, from the very beginning. I, I was already going to the gym and an starting to be an athletic person, I should say. I was athletic as a child, very athletic, gifted in athleticism, but I didn't go in a professional athletic direction. Anyways, started practicing yoga after I ha have already been athletic and I, I felt that something is missing in the yoga the way it is. What was missing was the intense element, the strength building element and also um, jumps, something that children incorporate into their life. That's uh, something that's ingrained in us. So I've created yoga, a yoga practice that that includes all of those elements into it. So we're taking traditional yoga, incorporating high intensity interval training, which is strength plus cardio. Now you have strength plus cardio plus interval yoga. All these three merge together. There is plyometrics. I include some weights, uh, so strength uh, training. Uh, into the discipline, so we're getting a really well-rounded discipline with the meditative um, aspect aspects included in it. So we are getting cardio benefits, um, uh, high-intensity interval training benefits, which is generally you get the benefits of cardio training uh, in the form of a very condensed time-wise. Um, Training, so you can train for basically 30 sec, uh, 30 minutes, and get the benefits of, of 150 minutes uh, uh, cardio training. So you don't have to run for hours and hours to gain the same benefits. Also, heat tends to raise your metabolism for um, the time when you're exercising. Also, the following um, many hours after that, 12 hours after that, you have increased metabolism. So those are the benefits you gain from interval yoga strength building uh, uh, gaining lean mass uh, losing body uh, fat because we are not just using cardio and not just using a general uh, exercising but we are also uh, using uh, ancient techniques such as uh, breath techniques um, banda bandas uh, also known as locks and also we're using uh, certain postures that stimulate particular organs in the body or uh, the endocrine system. So they're stimulating your thyroid, they're reducing, there's, yoga is proven to be reducing your cortisol levels, um, uh, also reducing fatigue in people that practice yoga. So we're including all of this. It can also benefit your adrenals, um, it can benefit um, uh, your immune system. So we are including all of those benefits. Interval yoga is including all of those benefits. And the bonus part is that we tend to do all of this in a very um, short amount of time. 20 to 30 minutes a day is enough and you can skip two days a week. I do recommend uh, doing something five to six days a week, even if 
some of those days are 10 minutes. I personally do a lot of 10 minute uh, things whenever I don't have time. So it's very, very doable. It's something that you can maintain for the rest of your life. And it's literally, um, it gives you absolutely the maximum benefits you can get from training. So you don't need to uh, devote one hour at the gym and 30 minutes to the gym and back and getting ready for the gym. Uh, you can at home, basically in your underwear, wake up and run to the mat, do something from anywhere from 10 minutes to, or even eight minutes. I have eight minute classes all the way up to 30, 40, 50, if you're having a, a strong day or a day when you have time and you get the benefits of the maximum benefits you can gain. You're not just compromising. You're getting the maximum benefits in that amount of time. Just hit uh, or high intensity interval training is not enough for me because it doesn't include the slow isometric holds or it doesn't include the movement that yoga incorporates, the lean body, uh, long muscle forming moves that yoga incorporates and also the mind that and the breath techniques that yoga incorporates. So just hit training, not enough. Strength training at the gym, absolutely not enough, not even close to um, okay, because I've been asked that what is how yoga can be better than strength training at the gym. If you're using machines, you're just kind of shaping a body that is not functionally strong. And if you're using free weights, that's great, but you still need to incorporate yoga and cardio elements into your strength training, which what interval yoga is. So we have strength training, um, cardio, a high intensity interval training, stretching, hatha, vinyasa, um, all in one. All of this is incorporated in interval yoga. Now, the paper, I'm going to read some excerpts of, um, of a diploma work or um, a, gra gra a graduation work of one of uh, my students or one of our, uh, a yoga student who did her work in Russian. So I'm using Google Translate. So some parts of um, what I'm going to read maybe are going to be a little bit kind of rusty or kind of they will sound, but you will get everything she's saying because when I put it in Google Translate, it was pretty good. Um, the benefits of interval yoga would be saving time because you can get a lot of uh, a, a lot of benefit in a very short amount of time. Uh, it will uh, it has benefits of reducing stress, anxiety, depression because that's what working out does. That's what yoga does, and that's what heat training does. So we get it in a condensed form. Uh, hormone balancing because yoga can balance your hormones and training can balance your hormones. Now. What I love about my yoga is in, I incorporate particular moves that can uh, increase your human growth hormone. What is human growth hormone? After, your teen, after puberty, your human growth hormone starts to decline. By the time you're 40, your human growth hormone is a third of what it used to be when you were young. Human growth hormone keeps your skin tight your muscles strong and you know how uh, young people have strong muscles even if they haven't even ever seen the gym uh, and it keeps your fat deposits lower uh, now when it starts to decline we have to put a little more effort in um, keeping uh, the body fat lower and the muscle mass higher uh, and that naturally happens when we're young also we have to put a bunch of serums <laughs> on our faces in order for our faces not to fall off. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, we, we have to make an effort to look a little, um, to, to look good, which happens naturally when we're young. Uh, now, what I also um, uh, incorporate into interval yoga that you will not find in any other yoga is lymphatic drainage. So we are incorporating jumps that will drain your uh, um, uh, the fluid that ac accumulates into your lymphatic system and the lymphatic system is a system kind of like your um, circulatory system only it doesn't have a pump the uh, circulatory system the heart um, uh, the cardiovascular system has the heart as the pump the lymphatic system does not have a pump so we have to help the lymphatic system drain in order to be healthy if your lymphatic system is not uh, functioning optimally, uh, then that will deteriorate over time your heart and your kidneys. 
first the kidneys and the kidneys deteriorate the heart and that leads to uh, heart disease. Lymphatic drainage is extremely important and it should happen on a daily basis. When we do yoga, um, interval yoga, we help the lymphatic system drain. Uh, in um, in uh, return, uh, we have better detox. Detoxification happens in the system. We um, tend to improve our um, longevity because when you have function, well-functioning lymphatic system, that leads to uh, healthier kidneys. Kidneys are the vitality organ in the body in Chinese medicine, and um, so um, we regulate or we regulate the. Um, uh, hormonal system with yoga and we uh, improve the lymphatic drainage with interval yoga. Um, I mentioned that I like to incorporate certain moves such as particular squat jumps in my classes which tends to boost what? Human growth hormone. Oh, it's abbreviated. You can see it often HGH, human growth hormone. So it tends to boost your human growth hormone uh, which very few things do. Also, yoga and um, uh, interval training are uh, known to improve uh, your longevity because they have a positive effect on the telomeres, which is the one now, uh, there is so much scientific buzz about the telomeres because that's the only proven way to in, in, increase your uh, lifespan. Um, all right, what else? Increased energy. Uh, interval yoga can uh, lead or uh, basically when you improve your human growth hormone you can have reju it has a rejuvenating effect on you it's not just fat loss and energy but uh, it's also it has uh, cardiovascular uh, benefits so better heart lower cholesterol better ratio good to bad cholesterol um, and improves the health of the spleen kidneys so internal organs the detox um, um, it improves your um, cholesterol, I mentioned that, immune fu function, it strengthens your bones, and that leads, um, it leads to younger skin and stronger bones and stronger joints. That leads to uh, another point I want to make about um, stronger bones and joints. Um, impact training, high impact or low impact, but uh, medium impact leads to stronger uh, joints. It has to be done properly with proper alignment. And that's what I incorporate into my classes. I actually went through hell with my joints during, um, um, I have a healing story on my channel. You can go to my channel and Google my healing story. But I went through so much trouble healing my joints. They were a mess. And I used, that's how I developed interval yoga as a system that will uh, detox your body, heal your body, build your body and build your joints strong and i can guarantee you i can promise you from um not just my personal experience but a lot of other people have used it that way it builds it builds strong knees and strong wrists and strong joints done properly so if you're new to interval yoga i will uh, advise you to get my beginner program first and to do my beginner classes first before you move on to with the um intense part of it but you will get stronger over time you will not believe how much strength you will gain in just 20 to let's say 10 to 40 minutes a day and 10 is perfectly okay i'm sweating because it is 100 degrees here in los angeles and it's uh that's over 40 degrees it's over 100 and over 40 celsius so it's ridiculously hot here I know it's uh, September 20, uh, October 25th, and we have record-breaking temperatures. So I'm speaking really fast. Let me know. Uh, type in the little chat uh, box. Am I talking too fast? Do you want me to slow down, or this is okay? The speed is okay because I want to cover a lot of stuff, and we have super cool things to cover. Super interesting aspects of yoga to cover. So stick around. Super cool stuff. So. Um, Heat is proven, there are studies ha that have been done on, on heat, high intensity interval driving that it can improve your longevity because it activates enzymes um, uh, called telomerase, which in, uh, uh, keeps telomeres long, so the ending uh, of the telomeres. I like the live stuff too, <laughs> so we'll be, we'll be doing live classes. Um, so heat training can also boost your uh, human growth hormone and IGF-1 uh, and it can lead to um, 
uh, fat loss, 700% fat loss compared to not training. So uh, we're talking like amazing benefits of the, every training that you pick up in your life will increase, uh, it will lead to benefits. But if you combine it, the way I've combined it in one, the benefits are amazing and also you get to do it in a really, really uh, short amount of time. And also very few things uh, incorporate yoga in a, in a good, fluid, groovy way. Uh, the way I incorporate it in interval training. So if you're a gym rat or someone that likes strength training, you need that aspect of it. You need it. You need to keep your um, fluidity. You need, because just strength can lead to stiffness. You need to keep the fluidity and the flexibility of the body and the fluid, because that leads to fluidity of the mind, flexibility of the mind, um, emotional, I don't want to say intelligence because that was a coin term for something specific, but I do mean that knowing yourself, quieting the mind so you can learn more about who you are and your emotions and tap into that and tap, it, tap into, um, into your intuition. Now, uh, yoga can increase and interval training both can increase your creativity. So that's another uh, another benefit whenever you feel like you're just in a rut and not sure why you should do, be doing yoga or why you should be doing my classes tap into this video and it will give you stimulation because it's not it's not just for your looks and it's not just for your health and it's not just for your heart health but it's it's for your mind it's for your peace it's for your getting to know yourself better getting to understand yourself better if you're wondering what this is diapers and I shouldn't, I, I should, I should just kind of remove them from the screen. Um, yeah, interval training can increase your uh, fat. I have points to cover here and there is more than more stuff that we're going to cover. So stay with me. Uh, uh, he, interval training can, can increase your lymphatic flow by uh, 300 to 600%. So that's, massive increase it can increase your metabolic uh, fat burning rate it can uh, boost your mood it can help with anxiety um, it can improve your memory um, bone density um, as i said impact training will improve the strength of your joints but it has to be done properly and you have to develop the proper flexibility um, for it so that's where yoga combined with interval training comes. The way I do my classes is I build heat from the inside out. For everybody that has asked me about uh, hot yoga, no, build your heat from inside out. Don't sit around and blast your body with heat. Build the heat from inside out. You will, you will build a lot of heat just from proper movement and proper breath. And that's way more powerful and more, more healing. Uh, heat from outside can actually increase your uh, injuries if you're about to do nothing or hot yoga probably hot yoga is better but if you are to choose what is the the most advantageous thing to for your body to do i would say do yoga that or training that builds heat from the inside out such as interval yoga uh, today we're covering interval yoga of course i do have classes that are not interval yoga i have classes that are power yoga i have classes that are vinyasa in uh, and um, Hatha. Uh, so uh, it's not the only thing I teach, but if you want to get really powerful punch, go for my interval yoga classes. You will get a very strong in a very short amount of time. I'll get to your questions in a second. I see questions rolling, but I'm trying to get somewhere with this. This is going to be a few part uh, video because I have a lot to cover about how to incorporate uh, different practices such as Ayurveda, such as um, uh, um, breath and, and so forth in order to uh, improve your health and, and weight loss. The diploma work is on weight loss. And I know that yesterday we covered, we were talking about beauty and today you say, oh, this is so controversial because why would you be talking about weight loss when yesterday you, uh, we were talking about how to not care about looks. No, I feel like I get misunderstood. We all care about our health and our beauty reflects the state of our health. And I think that's where the obsession with beauty comes. We kind of know that our face reflects our soul 
and our health so we want it we want to work on that where we can get lost is the obsession or the unhealthy attachment to perfection or unrealistic expectations my point is to accept who we are and upkeep it right just love who you are but don't don't think it doesn't matter uh, at all uh, how well you take care of yourself we are in a physical body in order to get physical to gain physical lessons we're here to gain lessons on in in this earth if we were to gain only spiritual lessons in life we would never incarnate in a physical body the reason why we are in a physical body is because there is lessons to be learned about attachment and the physicality of of earthly life um as an active phrase so uh, what heat is I didn't cover, mention that uh, high intensity interval training is basically a combination of high um, strenuous exercise that is cardiovascular followed by uh, intervals of rest so we have intervals of work and intervals of uh, active rest and that is incorporated into my yoga classes in a very particular way um, so it is a very effect, efficient, high intensity interval training is a very efficient way of working out because you gain cardio and strength benefits in one and also in a condensed amount of time. In, uh, it's more than three, four, five times less time that it requires. Sometimes you can run for 10 minutes in intervals and gain 50 minutes of benefits, of actual benefits. Uh, it also has... Um, effects on your cortisol levels, fatigue, depression, and so forth. All right, so we'll move on to uh, parts of the diploma work because she has written about interval yoga in particular, and she has written about a lot of other things. And we'll start with, it's I. if you're tuning in now, I'm using Google Translator for Russian diploma work. So if it sounds a little bit weird here and there, uh, you get what I mean, because it, it's pretty good. It's actually really uh, good the translation. I I didn't miss anything uh, while I was reading it. So give me one second to pull it up because I've pulled up uh, quite a few aspects or chapters of um, of her work. How asanas work uh, on the body, uh, how heat works on the body, how pranayama works on the body, uh, how Ayurveda when to eat depending on your type. Um, Ayurvedic type, how Udhyana Banda works on the body, all of that I'll try to cover in different uh, uh, <clears throat> in different ways. She starts with the diploma, it's uh, about yoga and weight loss. She starts it with uh, explaining that um, and why do we need to even lose weight, why do we need to keep a certain amount of weight, especially now in the media they say accept your weight at any way, just uh, radical beauty acceptance and stuff. Uh, because um, I think when you truly accept yourself, you don't abuse yourself. Uh, that's the that's the it's 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 such a touchy uh, subject. But first, we have to become honest with ourselves. And uh, you know, even that's true for me. Whenever I'm unhappy, I tend to eat less healthy or mindlessly. Uh, so that's the main. That's the main uh, thing we learn is that when we become more and more uh, balanced, we the body balances itself out, and that's why we use yoga because it allows us to be more connected with um, our own selves. So, a 90 to 95 percent of cases of obesity are due to poor diet. Uh, basically, there is an uh, energy intake that's higher than energy output, um, and. Um, Whenever there is uh, obesity, 40% uh, of the total weight of the human body, um, uh, it's, uh, sorry, um, in addition to improper diet, obesity contributes to reduce muscle activity, of course, uh, hypokinesia, muscle mass is 40% of the total weight of the human body and its activity or inactivity affects the condition and function of the all, all major systems in the body. Uh, ob obesity refers, this is interesting, to nutritional disease uh, from the Latin word alimentum, food. Uh, these diseases are associated with an eating disorder of the body and lack of exercise uh, or lack of dietary uh, energy or nutrients. Um, this, um, 
Disorders of uh, uh, power can also be caused by diseases of the body, causing disorders, digestion, increased flow of nutrients, in the, uh, and deterioration of uh, the absorption of cells in the tissue. Obesity can develop due to disorders of fat metabolism in connection with disease of the endocrine or central nervous system. Obesity may have a genetic character in uh, a small percentage of people. And... Um, uh, and she continues going on and on about uh, how it can affect the body uh, and how we need a healthy metabolism in order uh, to have a good lymphatic flow and a good lymphatic system. And if we have uh, too much tissue in the body, then that burdens the organs. Uh, then then uh, there is a subcutaneous, subcutaneous fat and uh, so forth and so forth, meaning the, be the need to have low body uh, weight is an actual need. It's not, a, it's not just a vanity thing, although um, I, I feel that I personally in my life have become less, I was never too vain, but I feel that you become less vain when your body is in, it, in, in, in balance. When you feel in balance, you don't focus on things that are wrong with you. So working on yourself leads to less thinking about yourself. Does that make sense? Um, it's, it's a little goes against the grain, but the, the more you take care of yourself, the less you um, care about how you look, uh, if that makes sense. Or the more you take care of yourself, the less afflictions you have, so the less you, um, you, you feel your body the less you're burdened by it, the less you think about it, because that frees your energy up for other things in life, creativity, and um, if you feel healthy, you um, you see yourself as beautiful or uh, as healthy, so you just uh, accept where you're at. You don't strive for something, for an unhealthy beauty uh, image, but you just see yourself, you meet yourself at exactly where you're at, and you see that as beauty, because you, you have your own uh, standard of beauty. Uh, which which sometimes it can be completely different from what the uh, social media tells you it has to be. It might be completely the opposite. It might be completely quirky features. And it just, going back to that beauty uh, discussion we had yesterday, I, uh, I have noticed, and tell me if that's true for you, that when people are very, very exceptionally uh, beautiful by... Um, by the beauty standards uh, in youth, in their 20s or teenagers, but they are the people within, um, that starts to show uh, after 30. If a person is, is dull spirit-wise, it starts to show, and after 30, people starts to sh start to, to shine with something else, not with the physical. And that's why often we see people that, by the book, they're not beautiful, but everybody sees them as beautiful because it's not the features but it's the soul that shines through and it's the quirkiness the uniqueness the um, um, the spirit that we start to see so going to give me one second so that i can pull up exactly the interval yoga part of the diploma work and tomorrow we may go to the Ayurveda part and then Pranayama and all the other goodies. Um, and how uh, asana in itself affects your body. So, um, High intensity interval training, it's, uh, that is a method that was developed, uh, it's a Tabata protocol, it was developed uh, by a Japanese team of, um, a doctor and his team of researchers in Tokyo in 96, and they, they found that such training gives much better results compared to just traditional training, or di traditional cardio. And it was established as it was called originally Tabata, it is in fact a high intensity interval training, and I work, um, I generally work with variations of high intensity interval training. Not always do I go for the straightforward. Sophie was going to knock out my phone. <laughs> uh, not always uh, yeah, I go with the straightforward because I like different variations of it. Sometimes 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Sometimes uh, equal amount of work to rest. I, I vary it and that gives really good results in, um, in the body. Um, 
Uh, to date, this me method is the most effective uh, for increasing functional parameters of the body, such as strength, uh, strengthening the muscular frame, improving uh, blood circulation, reducing body fat layers, increasing the performance uh, and endurance, aerobic and anaerobic improvement indicators. This is in studies done. It's, it's showed amazing results in all these parameters. This training program used by athletes of almost all kinds of sports, uh, it's used to improve their performance in any other sport. It leads to rapid burning of fat and increasing in stamina and building of muscle. Uh, practicing um, high-intensity interval training improves performing complex power, uh, involves, sorry, performing uh, complex power exercises in static and dynamic mode. They are aimed to work all major muscle groups. So we are using full body uh, exercises. We are increasing functional strength. That's the difference between traditional strength training uh, and uh, body weight strength training because you gain uh, functional strength as opposed to uh, uh, traditional strength training where you can gain uh, certain muscular strength but functionally your body is not strengthening. Uh, practicing heat involves performing complex, uh, we said that, um, they aim to work all major muscle groups. Um, and then um, here uh, it is explained how it is uh, performed, uh, rest and all of that. Uh, yes, that last comment is, did you say, yeah, uh, I, I will go back to the comments in a second. Um, Uh, so yeah, when we are uh, when we're uh, when performing this kind of exercise, yoga asanas are performed in a static. Uh, hold on one second, uh, I missed the part where I mentioned uh, this. Take, um, so each exercise is performed for uh, eight uh, cycles, so twenty seconds work, ten seconds of rest. That's your traditional tabata. I do variations of it, but oftentimes we do the, uh, the traditional tabata. A uh, total uh, round is four minutes for one round, and usually four, uh, three rounds are performed in uh, for altogether a 12-minute workout. This technique has been integrated in and adapted uh, in a version of yoga practice. Uh, the American fitness instructor in yoga, Ali Kamenova, uh, has named interval yoga. So uh, I'm translating from Russian, that's why it's a little... Um, the sentence was a little uh, messed up, but basically I have incorporated it, she says, into I have developed a technique incorporating um, Tabata into a, a, a particular yoga style um, as a consequence uh, of uh, its high effectiveness and relevance. Uh, it, uh, this uh, yoga has become, become uh, increasingly popular and many instructors are beginning to include it in, include it in their uh, training sequence. And yes, I was the creator. <laughs> uh, when performing this kind, and people were asking, am I going to start certifying people? Yes, I'm, I'm very close to um, starting a program for yoga certification for uh, yoga teachers. Uh, interval yoga so uh, stay tuned because there is going to be online I'll start online and we'll move into uh, in person in the further future answer the question don't be shy oh okay um, when performing this kind of exercise, yoga asanas are performed in static dynamic breathing, ujjayi, and compensatory asanas. Yes, we're doing regular breathing that is done in traditional uh, fitness and interval and cardio training, and we're also incorporating ujjayi breath, which is very, um, it can stimulate all major body systems in the body, plus uh, it has a fat burning effect, it has um, internal organ toning effect. Uh, last, uh, are one of the features of the adapted method. They are necessary for redistrib redistribution of loads from the muscle group to the opposite. So we're redistrib redistributing um, um, the load from one muscle group to the opposite muscle group when we're performing the exercises. This training includes a great number of body systems as the same, at the same time. It speeds up the heart rate and it increases, it increases oxygen consumption. Um, it takes a lot of energy, so its duration and frequency are limited. Yes, if you can do my classes for longer than I'm doing them, then you're probably not, not like really, really doing it right, let's say that. Uh, this mode is about 20-30 minutes from the total sequence and can be made as a, uh, as a separate short sequence due to the high loads um, um, 
due to the high loads, you get what you mean, high loads is uh, high uh, loading the muscles or loading the, yeah, um, the muscles. Uh, these workouts need uh, to be done three to four times a week max. Interval yoga helps to improve physical fitness. Um, it helps to develop endurance, to strengthen your cardiovascular system, and to lose weight. This direction establishes itself as a fast and effective way of bringing the whole body in tone. Yes, uh, because just training will give you just that, just weight, uh, strength uh, training benefits. But when you include yoga, because yoga is a discipline of self-knowing, um, then you're gaining a completely different, it's a, such a holistic system that you can't break it down into. I, I feel that the way I have turned some classes as a whole, they just align your body. And as a teacher, my first strength, my natural strength when I first started teaching or when I first discovered yoga, I realized that I have a, a, a thing for sequencing. When you sequence things properly, they work on your nervous system in a different way. That's why when you're working on like huffing and puffing exercises and breathing, but sequencing things in a particular order, you get a particular uh, nervous um, system benefit that you wouldn't get otherwise. Uh, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. You have, uh, you have done certain classes in which your nervous system has aligned in a particular way. Um, Heat is a method in which a muscle uh, works during a given peri period ratio work and leisure. Usually heat are also circular workouts. The number of muscle groups work sequentially, sequentially, and the entire sequence is repeated several times, restricting muscles in time for one approach. Too long intense work excessively depletes and destroys the muscles. Yes, you don't need to do too long. It just needs to be done in, in just short and sweet. Uh, so that there is no depletion and if you deplete your muscles that leads to uh, um, reduced benefits and um, reduced muscle gain and reduced health benefits so don't overwork uh, workout don't over exercise i have many videos on that and you can watch them but overworking out is absolutely the opposite uh, it it doesn't build you it breaks you down so, uh, therefore, the muscular work should be limited to optimum uh, intervals uh, and to, uh, f to optimal yoga class length. That's why my classes tend to be pretty short, because that gives you optimal results. So, not only they're short and save you time, but it gives you optimal uh, benefits. Many approaches on, uh, so, many approaches on the muscle uh, for exercise incentive for the development of muscle is called a shift in the status of its internal environment homeostasis mostly by muscle acidification uh, positive ions uh, change homeostasis caused in an increase of corresponding rna and dna there is a significant nuance about five minutes after loading the homeostasis in the muscles begin to level off in the case of interval and circuit training at the ex um, at the expense many repetitions of the total time of the muscle is able to alter from higher homeostasis uh, um, homeostasis is higher for longer than let's move forward so there is in interval yoga there is a very fast transition from one muscle to another we're moving from uh, one movement to another very quickly and we're loading one muscle and then the other very quickly um she has done an amazing work with this uh with this diploma work so that's why i'm gonna do it in a few studies because there is a few really cool things about ayurveda and asana and breath and pranayama and yoga nidra um uh, here she's explaining how the glucose is uh, um, the glucose in the uh, stored in the cells is um is used uh, to change the hormonal background of the body um, and how interval training can affect uh, a person in a more cheerful, uh, can put you in a neurologically more stable state. Uh, so basically uh, it helps you adapt better to the stresses in life. It make, in turn makes you happier and a little more cheerful and with stable moods, more stable moods and improved outlook on life. Um, I'll, I'll finish with that because some of the, the parts here were very uh, scientific and the Google Translator wasn't doing the best 
um, job in translating how it works on your on your neurotransmitters on your hormonal system and um, how the resting between states affects your body and so forth so let's uh, look at the questions and i will wrap it up i'll come back either tomorrow or, ne or next live session to talk about uh, pranayama and the benefits of pranayama asana benefits of asana because should we talk about asana today do you guys it's been 40 minutes so maybe let's do asana tomorrow it's just asana has a very very good way of affecting the body talking yoga poses especially um some of the poses that affect the internal organs uh but we'll talk about uh that more tomorrow let's look at the comments and wrap it up yes Sarah, there will be online certification. I'm working on it now, starting to um, come up with the details about how to do it, but it will be done at first online. After your pregnancy, Audrey, you are actually more connected to your body. Um, to me, that makes perfect sense. I know a lot of people say the opposite, but I feel such connection and love for my body that I've never even known existed before right it's something profound it's just the connection to the body changes because pregnancy and childbirth really uh strengthen your intuition they it just you feel so connected because your body just performs such an incredible some basically you tapped into all your intuitive powers in order to be able to get through all of that let's see um, I feel I feel the same. I don't feel stronger physically because I haven't felt the desire to work out as hard, but I feel stronger in some other um, in some other ways. The body feels stronger, and I and also I'm giving it time to get uh, physically and muscularly as strong as it was, but just and it and edit whenever it wants to or whenever it feels beneficial. I never tried hot yoga, I always like classes that build the heat like your classes from within. Yes, that's um, it, it really building heat from within is very, very detoxifying, strengthening to all your systems, and it's uh, good for your mind. It's it's very beneficial. Building, uh, Getting heat from outside can lead to injuries uh, on top of just it's a little a lazier approach. I don't find it to be beneficial. But as I said, if you're about to do nothing or hot yoga, obviously hot yoga is better. But if you have, if you want to do the best, uh, most optimal thing for you, then do, um, I would say do interval yoga, but you can do vinyasa, power yoga, etc. And just uh, heat classes are also good. I have so many interval yoga uh, I have so many um, uh, interval training classes. They're good to alternate. You can do two, two uh, times a week interval training, uh, one time interval yoga, one time vinyasa yoga, and something twice where you put 40% of your maximum output. Uh, let's see if there was, I don't want to miss any question. Okay, so you said that you are more aware of your body. That's how I read it, weird. If you had said I'm not, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you said I'm not aware of my body, uh, but I, I didn't see the knot. <laughs> see, we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're getting each other. Somehow I even missed the knot. I really love the influence. Yeah, as I'm a high school student and don't have that much time and do the coffee cup classes, yes. Yes, that's what it's designed for. Like, I don't know how I got through college and high school without yoga. It just really refreshes me. It's just my mind. Especially if I'm in a bad mood or just kind of like a, kind of like a gray mood or if I feel a little um, stiff, just one class and everything opens and it becomes from an eh day to an optimistic day. Yes, uh, the coffee uh, cup class are uh, interval yoga. Even if they don't have interval yoga, timer in them they're interval yoga because we load the body in uh, in um, in cycles meaning we go for side planks and then we hold a plank which is kind of a rest or we hold on a down dog in a rest um, I love your classes 
uh, and no info you share with us. Your classes are always challenging, but within reach, and I get the most physical and emotion, the the mo the most physical and emotional, I guess, benefit from your workouts. Thank you from Texas. Thank you, Masi Design. How many times a week should we do interval yoga for weight loss? I'm six months postpartum. Um, uh, so I'm going to do this series on weight loss because that's the diploma work that uh, I was sent. Uh, the girl that wrote it uh, sent it to me. It's super interesting. Uh, maybe I, I should post the whole uh, diploma work somewhere on my website as a paper. Or as a paper. Uh, how many times? As I, I just answered it, but do two, two times a week some of my shorter interval training classes. Uh, do one to two times a week an interval yoga and the other times do some other yoga more mild. Now, I want you to give your maximum effort only twice a week. Yeah, only twice a week. I want you to do a strong class only twice a week. The other times, just put as much effort. Just either take more rest or just don't go all out. Like speed-wise, for example, if it's we're doing surfer jumps don't do 30 in a minimum amount of time uh, that's for weight loss because when you overtrain you actually tend to gain weight from the stress in your body because your cortisol levels raise so you don't want to overtrain overtraining doesn't lead to uh, weight loss it, gets, it leads to weight gain and for some people that are able to uh, limit their food intake so much that it, they do maintain a low weight it just stresses their system and leads to depletion in the body so you don't need a lot. You need three times a week, 10 minutes, and the other times, 20, 30, 40 minutes. Uh, is interval yoga a mix of hatha vinyasa? It's mostly power vinyasa with some hatha elements and uh, interval training. So we have plyometrics, we have uh, cardio elements, strength elements, uh, groovy dance elements, plus uh, some weighted exercises and we use some props so it's quite a bit of a combination of things all right and and we have princess Mimi thank you for working out with me or doing yoga with me every day all right I hope this was very informative to you uh, and I hope you like the the Google translation on the diploma work uh, I will come back tomorrow. I have them pull up, but we'll do them tomorrow about how Udiana Banda works in the body. And uh, basically, it's kind of the scientific view of it and how it helps uh, to stimulate the kidneys, removing fluid from the body. Udiana Banda can strengthen and um, improve the health of your kidneys uh, and how it works on soothing the nervous system and so forth. So we'll, we'll talk about such things. They're interesting things, very informative. A lot of people are curious about those things um, uh, because it's nice to know that what you're doing has such profound benefits on your body and on your mind. And um, I might be shooting in a little bit uh, the next apps class, so join in for that. And thanks for joining. Love you all. Namaste.